beautiful people. It is hot, but we're going into summer. What can I say? We have two green stocks that we need to build today. These are going to be the original tiered green stock. So it's going to be five tiers. Now, if you've been here on the channel before, you know, we've got ours set in the mulch and we use the spinner base and we put the spinner base on top of some cement bricks after leveling it on the ground down below. So after we, so, <laughs> sorry, dog barking. Um, we go on ahead, we move the mulch back, we put down gravel, we get it leveled up, we put those cinder block down, and then we put these guys on top tier by tier. So we're going to be doing that because we have the dwarf tomato project that we are doing with our, what is it, the dwarf sneaky sauce? Sneaky the sneaky sauce is what we are going to be planting in these guys and then we have some peppers that we are also going to be planting in these green stalks because we want to show you what is possible to grow in as small of a square footage as possible and honestly you can grow a lot of food in these green stalks and they are not a labor intensive thing so if you have um a bad back you have bad hips shoulders whatever once you have these guys up and even in the process of having them up if you can just have a friend come over for an hour you can get one of these set up on your patio in under that amount of time 30 minutes. yeah 30 minutes you can have this set up very very easily the hardest part is really getting it out of the box and then just getting your potting mix to your place the setup is super simple so as i said if you've got any physical limitations at all when it comes to gardening, this is also a really good option for you. But let me go on ahead and get you guys onto the hyperlapse here so we can get this mulch moved back and we can get our green stock built and put up. All right, let's go. Okay hey guys, so I'm gonna level with you. The first green stock that we set up here. Now, this is not going to be an issue for those of you who are already on a level surface. So say that you have a deck or a patio that's cement or that's already been built out, that's already leveled. 
So you don't have to deal with leveling out your surface. We are literally putting ours onto ground. And unfortunately, because we're on a dry creek, our ground likes to shift. So what we've started doing is we've started putting down gravel, <clears throat> a small like pea gravel, and leveling the surface and then putting a cinder block, half size cinder block underneath and then sitting the green stalk on top of that and we make sure and level each tier. Now, as I said, if you're already on a level surface, you don't have to worry about doing that. But if you are not on a level surface, you do want to make sure and level each of your tiers because if you have your tiers out of balance or unlevel, they're going to be more likely to tip over if you have a wind gust happen or if the ground shifts because you've gotten a lot of rain and it just will bow and it could fall over and you don't want to lose your plants and I don't want you to lose your plants because I've been there. Um, you, I'll try and link that video here at the end where I had to put the green stock tower back up. It's the first time it has ever fallen over. Um, so that was a new experience, but to be fair, the ground had shifted. So it was just a good opportunity to fix them and we did. So we have applied the same measures to these guys and they should be a bit more stable than they were even prior. Um, but we didn't get them planted out today. That's okay. We'll get that done another time. But uh, I hope that you found this video helpful. If you have ever thought about so I hope that this inspired you if you have thought about getting a green stock in the past, but you've just not made the commitment to do it. I hope that you find this valuable, um, especially if you're in a small space and you're wanting to grow a lot of food. You can grow a lot of food in these green stock grow towers, guys. I'm telling you, they have saved us so much space. All of this, all of these beans would have taken up an entire bed for me and I'm growing them in a 17 inch circumference. Circumference, right? Circumference is all the way around. It's bigger than 17 around, isn't it? No, it's 17 around is what they say on the website. Okay. So it's, it's about 17. Okay, so it's under 20 inches circumference. And, and not counting what's hanging off from the plants. And there's lettuce also growing in there despite the heat. And that's going to be because these guys up here are offering shade break. So it's giving it some protection, keeping it so that I can have lettuce longer in the year because this is not the time of the year to be growing lettuce. But as you can see, I am growing a lot of food. This is going to be probably the equivalent of once it comes to fruition, I want to say we're going to probably have about two gallons, maybe three gallons worth of beans off of here. And then once they stop producing, I'm going to pull them out and I'm going to do another round. Because when it comes to beans, you can do that. You can usually succession sow green beans very, very easily, especially if you have a longer growing season like we do. But you can grow almost anything in these guys. And this is a leaf. So this is the seven tier leaf. What we set up today is the five tier. So the pockets are deeper, okay? You can see that here compared to here, okay? So at least double the depth, a little bit more actually. You can grow anything with a deep root system, anything that's bigger in these. So we're gonna go anything from a root vegetable all the way to eggplant, tomatoes, peppers, uh, cucumbers, you could grow, you could actually grow cucumbers in the leaf, even, if you wanted to. We're not supposed to technically be growing our strawberries in the leaf, but I've got them growing in a leaf green stock. We also have them growing in the five-tier uh, terracotta green stocks now. Um, but these guys just rebounded. We thought they were all dead, and they totally came back and surprised us. So... Seriously, guys, if you are in a small space, if you are in an ultra urban setting, if all you've got is a patio or a balcony, you can set up a green stock and you can grow food. The other thing is, is you can bring this inside in the winter and you can grow greens in here. If you've got, if you've got, if you've got like a sliding glass door where you can get some indirect light coming in, you're golden. Even if you just have a basic window that allows indirect light in the winter, 
you can have one of these inside and growing a ton of different things herbs greens flowers, flowers. you could be putting le yeah well um, yeah you could just do microgreens even but and if I, you don't need five pockets yeah if you don't need to use all five you don't have to use all five but I'm a big proponent of using all five even inside I would be willing to bet that you could grow radishes beets turnips potatoes potatoes probably would grow well in the deeper one if you wanted to give that a go especially the fingerlings because they're smaller the bigger potatoes probably like the sweet potatoes that's going to be a little I don't know green stock have they grown them green, green stock, stock has grown them too, but I think they, did they grow some in there I think they did sweet potato too. They did sweet potato in theirs? Okay, so go check out Greenstock. They are on YouTube. So go and check out some of their YouTubes if you've not checked them out prior. I'll try and link them also in the video so that you can head right over um, down in the description below because I can't do links yet. There's not enough of us here. I have to have like a thousand or two thousand people or some ridiculous thing in order to be able to do links. That's just. I'm sorry, YouTube, but that's just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that's just stupid and unfriendly but hey you know it's the algorithm so you share share our content that helps us get out there in the algorithm a lot more but that's all I've got for you guys so if you have any questions about growing in these go on ahead and drop a comment down below I'd be happy to answer you if I can't answer you um, go on ahead and head over to green stock because they'll be able to tell you everything you want to know about them they are revolutionary awesome. Customer yeah, service. amazing customer service. If you have problems and you need to call them, they're Johnny on the spot. So I highly recommend this company. It's an American-based company and family-owned and operated, kind of like us. So, guys, it's always keep it simple, natural, and essential. We'll see you on the next video. Yeah, what she said. <laughs>